I have to open bottles from time to time, these sort of things, ones with these sort of caps on it. And uh, I have a standard one, of course. And I started looking around for little novelty ones. And the first one I came across was this one here. It's quite a sweet little idea. It's like a little key. The point is, it's going to be that way like that. Let me just show you how it sits on the bottle like this. So you're going to put it on the bottle like that and use it to lift up the cap. I've already lifted it up so it's not too hard, but it'll do a little slight pop and a fizz if it's actually a new bottle I'm opening up. But that thing there at the end is a little cap remover and it works very well. And you've got a, it's a key fob type thing. So you can put that on your belt and you can carry your own little bottle cap lifter around wherever you go. Nice one like that. So other versions I come across are equally quirky. This is probably one of the quirkies I've ever come across, I think. I came across two versions of it. It's um, let's see, show it to you up the camera. It's a bottle cap remover. You can see from the way that hook there. It's got numbers naught up to twenty-five, and then around well, with thirty at the top. What this is doing is every time you lift that on a bottle and do it, and it won't work with this because it's so light, but it lifts up the cap. <clears throat> but it should actually progress this. There's a very heavy spring behind it, and I'll see if I can make the spring operate. <clears throat> and every time I do this, it's advancing it by one to keep a tally of the number of bottles you've opened. That's a good idea, isn't it? One to thirty at least. Mm, I like that. Two versions of that too. Here's another one which I've come across. For some extraordinary reason, they decided to put a ballpoint pen. Everyone wants to have a ballpoint pen when they're drinking, apparently. So when you push this down here, out comes the point of the, of the, of the ballpoint pen. Push it again, it retracts. But it's a, a bottle opener. Let's go there. It's going to be that way like that, isn't it? Oh, yes, it works, it works, it works. Another one. So bizarre, bizarre. And the last one here is uh, a finger ring. And that, of course, is a bottle opener. So let's have a go at that one. Oh, it's a daisy. And if you put it on there, you've got to lift it. I think it's going to be the other way. Oh, like that, that's right. I don't, how you get the leverage, I'm not sure. I, have, I need to use it on a, a, an unopened bottle to see how much leverage I've got there. But it means it's, uh, you can have your bottle opener in the form of a little finger ring on your, on your finger, which is nice. Then it occurred to me to think about what to do with the bottle cap. What do you do with this? Well, there's a few ideas I come across. I'll show a couple now, but I think there are others out there. It's a lot of these being thrown away and they need corks on the other hand. I found lots of use of corks, but this is a much rarer creature. The best one I've had so far, I think, are the two spinning tops, which I received this last year from Nuremberg, one from Christian Ucker and one from Klaus Wilk. And both of them were obviously little bottle caps. But in one case, Christian had put a little spindle there and a metal disc, that was important, to add to, to a bit of weight, otherwise it doesn't um, go for long enough. It's completely smooth base, so if you try to do this this way, it just stops. There's, there's, there's no dimple there. But if I do it the other way up, I can put the mirror aside. I'll see if I can make this... Well, I've got to do a bit of action. Oh, there we are. And it's spinning reasonably long time because of that extra weight. That's one of the troubles with a bottle cap, is that they haven't got enough weight to it. The other version from Klaus Wilk does actually have a little um, dimple at the base there, but he's only got woods there, which means it's a bit light, so it will spin for a short time and it comes to a halt. And like the other one, you've got to spin that really upside down successfully to make it work properly. So ideas of things you can do once you actually open the bottle, what do you do with the cap? There's one idea, I think there's some more coming. Can you think of some?